Well, this is uh, Echo Park, but then this zone within Echo Park is known as Red Hill. Artists and writers always live back here, and I heard Hemingway finished the novel in a cabin over there, and Bukowski, I heard he lived in a cabin. Let's put these stickers up. Yeah, this is Riverside, the five, Glassell Park, like Atwater Village over there, Highland Park kind of over there. Oh, there's tons of coyote. Yeah, there's there's coyote den over here. There's one over there. I was always kind of inclined to draw. I was like the kid. It was good at drawing like funky portraits of the teacher or whatever, like Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or something. I could draw that good. I was interested in like horror movies and heavy metal record covers and rap tapes and skate graphics. I mean, yeah, I've drawn dogs for a long time. They're just like living monsters. I got this dumb dog, Rodney, and then started drawing him, and I guess that's kind of where it started. I post a picture up on the internet, and then this kid wrote me. He's like, I'm turning 18, and I want my first tattoo to be my dog. Please draw my dog. And then just sent me a picture of this dog. I think I have a stamp of that dog. Posted that on the internet, and then people started asking me to draw their dog. And then I started doing like art shows and put a little zine out. It's very personal, and a lot of times they'll I'll get a response back that says they're crying, and a lot of living dogs, but a lot of memorial portraits. So it becomes a super meaningful thing, and it kind of has some kind of spiritual power or something to it that is different than any other drawing that I've made of like a guy's face exploding or something. I've got like a lot of stuff that it's been used in one way or another. I think this is just a t-shirt for Dinosaur Jr. recently. I think it's in that zine. Yeah, there's some dirty stuff in here you might want to edit. There's a fun little clown orgy in here. This is Rodney taking a shit. This is Bob Odenkirk's dog. It became this thing that just kind of started by accident and then it became kind of a self-generating illustration job. If I ever want to draw a dog, I have a lot of people that have asked and I also want to draw a lot of other things too, so. Could draw dogs forever and it would be nice, but I've a, a few other things I gotta do.